In this video, we're going to troubleshoot a Toshiba Fire TV that keeps crashing. So in other words, let's say you're on an app and you're on Netflix or Freebie or YouTube. You're watching a video or a movie and all of a sudden it completely shuts down and goes back to the home screen. Well, that's called crashing. So make sure you stick with me to the very end. I'm pretty confident I can get you help. So the first thing I want you to do is check your Wi-Fi connection. So what a lot of times happens is if you're not getting a good signal and you're using Wi-Fi, that will make it crash. That's probably the number one reason. So for example, I have a router in here and it's very close to my TV. And so it's a good chance that they will not cause my Toshiba to crash. But I have another TV that's using Wi-Fi in the next room. So as you can see here, by me closing this door, this is considered a firewall and it's blocking the Wi-Fi connection. So what you want to do is make sure you open any doors and prevent any networks that's hogging up your Wi-Fi connection. If you have a, a, a laptop on or something that you're not using but it's hogging up your Wi-Fi, go ahead and shut that device off and most likely you'll get a better connection. Okay, so that would be the number one reason. Next thing you want to do is just reset your Wi-Fi connection. So do this two ways. We're going to go to we're going to go to home, and then we're going to go to settings. Settings looks like that little gear shift there. And then what we're going to do is go to network, click OK, and then choose your network that you are currently under. And then what you can do is click this little three little lines right here. And when you do that, it's going to forget the network. Okay. Now make sure that you remember the password because what you want to do is forget it and then reconnect to it, the same network, and retype in your password and get connected. So that will do like a little small reset of it. Next, th next thing you could do is actually unplug your router for a good five minutes, your Wi Fi router, and then uh, plug it back in and then see if you if the crashing continues to happen. And of course, the best scenario is if you could connect your internet directly to your TV by ethernet, where you can just have the wire connected to your TV, that's ultimately the best solution. All right, next thing what we wanna do is we wanna do a system update. So in order to do a system update, what you wanna do is go back to home, and then what you wanna do is go back to settings. Okay, go back down. And we're going to go to device and software right down there. Click OK. And then what you want to do is do about, go to about on the very top about. And then what you want to do is check for updates. And that could take a couple of minutes. Restart your TV and then tell me if it keeps crashing. Most likely that would solve the problem. Next thing I want you to do is turn the TV off and then unplug it from the wall. You can either, either unplug it from the wall or unplug it from the very back from the cord there and leave it unplugged for five minutes. Plug everything back in. And then actually before you plug anything back in, we're going to do a power drain. And what you want to do with it, with it unplugged, hold down the power button pointing towards the Toshiba for 30 seconds on the remote and then locate the power button on the Toshiba Fire TV and hold that down for 30, 30 seconds while it's still unplugged and then turn it on and then see if you have that issue. That will fix a lot of your issues of it crashing. One thing you can do, another thing that will make it crash is if something's connected to the HDMI ports here or USB. So if you have an Xbox or a PlayStation, temporarily unplug those things and see if it will if it keeps crashing. If it does, then you know there might be an issue with that HDMI port or the device itself, whether it's a PlayStation or an Xbox. Then try different HDMI ports. So that this one has four HDMI ports, try a different one. All right. Now, after I've done that, the next thing to do is actually do a full system restore. And to do that, we're going to go back to home, go back to settings. And then what we're going to do is go to device and software. 
and reset to factory defaults. And what that's going to do, it's going to remove all your personal data, your apps, and your Wi-Fi information, all your passwords. So it's like you're getting it brand new out of the box. But that will usually fix the issue. All right, thanks for watching. Put in the comment section which solution actually worked. All right, thanks again.